All right, anyway, where is... Oh, yeah, we gotta go talk Julie to Julie. Julie uh, she's back in bed, of course. Why is, she, why is she in here? She shouldn't be in here. That is a loud pump. Why would she go out here and get her hands dirty? She's delegating her tasks to her inferiors. I guess. I just kind of thought she was a little bit more... Uh, Your friend's cute. Is she single? I... <laughs> yeah, Delilah, yeah. I guess. I, I don't really care. We did not inquire into her personal life. Where the hell is Julie? Apparently she's not here. Oh, I also don't know who Jerry the Punk is. No, talk to him. See if you remember him. I'm so much happier now. Thank you again. No, that, that, that doesn't ring a bell. Who is that? The great kind who liked poetry. There once was a fellow called Garrett, whose sister she did love to bear it. She flashed it around all over town. So if you would screw her, beware it. While we have your ear, there's a bad poet in the great cons. Could you... Take him off everyone's hands. Wow, I forgot about him that quickly. <laughs> Still drawing a blank, hey? Yep, nope, nothing. Right. I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Well met. Uh, Delilah wants to join the followers of the apocalypse. She seems eager to welcome her into the fold. So, yes then. She agrees, believing Delilah to be a special girl with a bright medical career ahead of her. She hands you a lab coat to pass along and expresses that Delilah is welcome anytime. But the lab coat is only for me. As a matter of fact, Dr. Farkas already has an assignment for her to complete. Ooh. She hands you a mission briefing, and then he gets back to work. All right, here, put this lab coat on. Oh my God, thank you so much. I can't believe it, it feels so official. What do you think? She also gave me this, which is your first assignment. Hmm, let me see. Jeremy Trimble, huh? Well, we should get to Nipton soon, I suppose. Oh, we should probably read that mission briefing ourselves. I don't think there's any reason to go to Nipton, because everyone's dead. Follows the Apocalypse, Indigenous Liaison Department, Julie Farr. Wow, this looks very official. Field agent number 76, uh, Joshua Tremble, has gone missing. Agent Tremble's on assignment during Nipton during the Legion attack. It's not been heard from since. Well, he's dead. <laughs> I Pro didn't, yeah. <laughs> Strategy is made much more horrible than the fact that Agent Trouble had his possession a hollow disk containing the passcodes for many essential followers of the Apocalypse Terminals down the Mojave. These passcodes fall in the wrong hands. We have a catastrophic security breach on our hands. Why the followers of the Apocalypse are humanitarian workers. What is this? Apparently, but you know, I'm sure they have stuff that they want to keep secret, but this seems more like a uh, NCR thing than a... Everyone's got secrets they want to hide from the world. Yes, they must be found and destroyed before this happens. All right, well, off we go. Huh, hey, Toastbusters! Get fucked. Bustin' makes me feel good. Billy's log number seven. Unless you decided on your name and then it went. I wonder if there is a god. And if there is, how can it be proven empirically? If I was a giant death. Why do I even care if there's a god if my only sentient urge is to murder everyone I see on sight? So, Billy, is there truly a god? Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, that was us arguing! I was trying to figure out what was going on in the background. That was us! Apparently he was recording us doing that. So this is like his own thoughts. Okay. Oh, uh, I liked Billy. I don't like that he was recording me. I don't like the sound of my own voice. Patriot Act! Think about it! Apparently the Nipton house here. Okay. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! This isn't a person that needs our help! Unless we want to kill them. I'm just shooting the fence. I'm just shooting the fence. There we go. Oh, it's ricocheting everywhere. Oh, I'm getting irradiated. Oh, it ain't cool. Ow. Don't get so close to the bars. They can actually pull you through. Well, you keep... Uh, Delilah kept pushing me into the bars. Delilah's like, oh, no, Zach, stop getting so close to the bars. Zach, stop. Delilah, now you're going to be the one getting pushed up to the bars. Deal with it, Delilah. Yeah. How do you like it? So, Agent Tremble. Uh, if... Tremble is here, he's probably one of the ghouls. Plush E Bear! You found a Nevada Bear Company oh, bear! I'm not giving that to Willow, I don't care, it's mine. Yeah, I'm not seeing much oh, of this. Oh, there he is. Tremble's holotape, tape, neatly followed note, followers, doctor's coat, doctor's bag, and three stem packs. Hey, I can wear a doctor's coat too! Looks like he OD'd himself on drugs and died in the bathtub. Before or after the ghouls invaded? Not sure. Goodbye, cruel world. Ha, no, seriously, I just couldn't do it. 
The game started burning and killing, screaming. The screaming hasn't stopped. Oh God! But I just still couldn't do it. The Bonyard said to release these test subjects. I can't. I won't. They'll be here soon. They're in the town hall now. I think. Just getting ourselves shot and sleep. They'll be here soon. They'll be in for a surprise. I'll just open the gate. Won't they be in for a surprise? I'm sorry, Jeremy. I don't know why the Boneyard had a bunch of feral ghouls in here, but like... What, what? And also you were planning to release them, but you were also caged in with them? He was going to release them so that they killed all the Legion, but yeah, like why was he caged in here with the... Whatever, it's fine. Just so, don't don't think about okay, it. Okay, I won't. You're thinking about it, don't think about it. Just Not, look. Yeah. look. Oh, I forgot all of my things. <laughs> I'm just looking at chicken. Yay! Let's keep going. Not in agreement. <laughs> uh, wait, Ben. So ah! You bitch! <laughs> Delilah, would you please open the gate? Delilah, open the gate! Open the gate, Delilah! Um, really? Just put the gun down. Nice and easy. Open the gate! Open the gate, though! Put the gun down! <laughs> open the gate. Open the gate. Please? Don't fold your arms like that at me, young lady! Return the holodisc to Julie Farkas. Okay. What do you think about that? What's up? Um, I need some medical treatment. Of course. What's going on? I think I've got radiation poisoning. Even a tiny bit of nuclear radiation can be highly toxic. We need to treat you right away to prevent any long-term damage. Go ahead and inject the ivermectin directly into my veins. Freeside's a dangerous place. Only I can keep you safe, my friend. You can't keep us safe! You can't even save yourself! Oh. Not my problem. And now we go bribe somebody at the bar so everyone forgets. Popped <laughs> over. He's got it folded over the thing. <laughs> Dahlia. Delilah, stop giving him the bedroom eyes. What are you doing? Look at her looking at this dude. And look at him not respond, avoiding eye contact at all costs. What do you mean? Ah, <laughs> oh, Julie. Creep. Doctor stares blankly and creepily at you. I have the holotape. She appears grateful for the wonderful job you have done. I, wonderful. She directs you to Dr. Usanagi, who may have more work for you. Yay! I'm liked! Evening. It feels so great to be a part of something like this. Hey! You're back. Do you need medical attention? Still no. Julie said you wanted to see us. She appears grateful for your offer of assistance. She expresses that one of her sickly patients is bedridden and needs help. His name is Pendleton Baxter. The man has numerous health problems, although he has not been to the clinic in a while. She hopes he is still alive and wishes that you would check on him. You probably won't be, but I will. She instructs Delilah to perform any procedures she feels are necessary. Let's go. Everybody, you need some help? Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. We're here to visit a man who is bedridden and most likely has expired. But we don't know that for sure. We gotta double check. No idea. So... They say the fiends are defeated, but I'm sticking close to the army. Pendleton appears to be suffering from acute congestive heart failure. His breathing is very labored and he appears unable to get up from the bed. Delilah could perform a very complex and dangerous emergency surgery that could save his life, but she's never done it before. You or Delilah must have a medicine skill of 75 or higher to successfully complete the surgery. Ah, crap. Neither one of us have enough medicine to do this. Read a medical book. Maybe that'll help. I have removed the tumor manually. It's with a double hot buck. Not sure the tumor was causing the congestive heart failure. It might have just been high cholesterol. I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised oh, to the no. ground. Oh, no. Oh, no. He remembers. He's the body it. remembers. <laughs> The body remembers! The mind forgets what the body remembers! <laughs> Boy, that's, uh... That's not good. He's uh, got new medical... Now you now requires a medical skill of a lot oh. more. <laughs> hey, we prepped him for surgery and it was a success. How? Okay. Where's that noise coming from? Who gave Delilah a Dremel? Wait, I know the cure. I have the cure. Buddy chicken, do it! People always underestimate alternative medical treatments. I feel so much better now. Thank you. Oh, I haven't felt like this in years. All it took was a little buddy chicken's dance to make me feel a million times better. Oh, thank God. No, wait. Thank you, buddy chicken. God didn't help me. <laughs> That's right. There is no God, but there is buddy chicken. <laughs> hey. You're back. Do you need medical attention? 
Pendleton Baxter is gonna be just fine. He made it through the impromptu surgery. I gave him a tracheotomy with a Bic pen. She is pleased by your excellent work. She has another case for you, if you're interested. A young man in Sloan seems to have suffered a back injury. Uh, slow, yeah, we can we can do that. She marks the location on your pip boy. Why is she mocking the location? It's just Sloan. Take care. Because I was tired when I recorded this. <laughs> All right, off we go to Sloan. What do you want us to do? Give him a spinal tap? All right, got to run to Sloan. Was it, what? You got a back it. Oh, wow, that's a bad back injury. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a bad back injury. Well, he won't be needing this anymore then. Oh, wait, no, it's this guy. Oh, the one's Wrong. not dead. Wrong one. Why is this guy dead? I don't know. I'm sure I did that. I just don't remember doing that. <laughs> yeah. After a thorough examination, this man seems to have fractured several vertebrae in his spine. His body is going into shock, and he will probably not live very long in this condition. He needs immediate surgery. Delilah will need a medical brace in order to set the spine after the extremely delicate surgery. You or Delilah must have a medicine skill of 85 or higher and a medicine brace to complete the surgery. Well, we're missing a medical brace. I gotta go find one of those. All right, well. Also, I feel like this guy should have been a higher priority. Yeah. There we go. Let's see. What do we need to make one medical brace? Medical brace is probably an ingredient for a recipe. I can't believe there's no medical brace in the doctor's bag. It has so many uses outside of this quest, to right? That, to that end, I'm pretty sure there's a medical brace inside one of these doctor's bags. And you can have the medical brace. She brought surgical tubing and two voodoo dolls, but not a medical brace. Why did you bring a voodoo doll, you weirdo? Uh, once Delilah opens up Cornfed's back... His name is Cornfed? This poor man. <laughs> she realizes the damage was far more extensive than she thought. There is nothing she will be able to do for him. He will be paralyzed for life. Oh, no! Delilah, you already did that! No, why are you going into his spine more? Okay. Well, now he's definitely going to be paralyzed for life. <laughs> GG, Delilah. <laughs> It's okay, I know medicine. My uncle Sulik taught me tribal remedies, she says, while she's performing back surgery. <laughs> You're back. Do you need medical attention? The miner made it through the surgery. His back is a mess, though, and he has a severe infection. She appears pleased by this result and <laughs> offers you sincere gratitude. That's that's concerning. She has one more job for you, if you are interested. Good enough is. Yes, we'll do the last job. She informs you of a squatter by the name of Drybones in North Vegas. He has been complaining recently of headaches, but he missed his appointment today. This appears to be causing Dr. Usanagi great distress. She's worried his condition could have worsened. Or maybe was killed on the way here, because you know, we saw raider gangs outside. Yeah, that does happen quite a bit. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Oh my god, he had a heart attack trying to get into the children's thing. The old man appears fine from outward appearances. He is not conscious. After inspecting his pupils, Delilah determines he is suffering from an aneurysm. Oh, he will require very dangerous brain surgery. <laughs> the surgery will be very risky, and he may not make it, but it needs to be done now. You or Delilah must have a medicine score of 95 and a bone saw to successfully complete the surgery. Okay, let's go grab a bone saw and start hacking. Uh, I don't have a bone saw, but I have... All right, Action Abe, what do you suggest? Well, uh, as a former lawyer, I suggest that you do not perform that surgery here on this cracked asphalt concrete. You have a katana! Use your precision katana to make the incision! No, no, I'm not a doctor. I used to be a lawyer, not a doctor. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not getting disbarred. I don't remember Abraham Lincoln being part of an attorney class. Yeah, who's a lawyer? He was an American lawyer, politician, and statesman. Was, was Abraham Lincoln the lawyer before or after he was president? Before he was president. I, I guess he couldn't have done it after he was president. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where a bone saw is. All right, I, Action Abe, I'm going to need to get a second. I'm, I, I value your opinion very highly, but I'm going to need to get a second one. You're a bad doctor. Get oh. out of here. Chicken, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> we are running dry on options here. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. And then we help Delilah. As Delilah begins working on flushing the aneurysm, he dies. Ah, shit. Uh, table? What table? <laughs> Yo, what table? This is a cracked asphalt! Oh, you really screwed this one up, Delilah. You should be ashamed of yourself! This is malpractice! It's fine, we'll put this ball where his head used to be. What's up? <laughs> well, you are awfully callous for someone who just killed a man on the operating table. In retrospect, it's not really our fault if the lead doctor is making the rookie <laughs> do brain surgery on her first day. 
Maybe Dr. Usanagi didn't care about this man, which is why she sent the tr- uh, child when you're Maybe laughing. that guy owed her money, so she <laughs> sent us there to be like, yeah, he's got an aneurysm. Go help him. Are we the equivalent of an HMO? You're back. Do you need medical attention? We lost dry bones. In before the narrator says the, do- <laughs> the Dr. Usanagi was pleased with the result. <laughs> she sighs. The pillar of the community, old dry bones, will certainly be missed. Well, that was that, I suppose. All right, well, goodbye. Take care. I'll do my best. Delilah has apparently gotten a new perk. Hooray. I feel like Delilah's being rewarded for watching patients die. Yeah. (laughs) Let's go find other people to victimize or operate on. Operate. We operate. We operate. Hey, this guy. What are you looking at, Smoothkin? Ain't never seen a glowing zombie before. I haven't seen one that... The one that talks, anyway. Ha! <laughs> yeah, those are pretty rare, huh? You shouldn't call yourself a zombie. That's that's rude. The zombies who tell you that are just sensitive. Look at me. I'm practically a corpse. If I was a smooth kid, I'd shout zombie, too. Uh, I did it first, but then I got used to it. How'd you become a glowing ghoul? Jeez, smooth kid, that was decades ago. It's hard to remember now. I... You used to be a regular zombie. Then something happened. Something radioactive. Uh, I think there were power plants and... Geckos? I came here for treatment, but they say I was too dangerous. And now they want me to leave. The doctors can't figure out why all the patients in 2B die of radiation exposure. Meanwhile, on the other side of the building, adjacent to room 2B... (laughs) Why are you dangerous, I wonder... It's the radiation, they say, but that's bull. I won't be here that long, just as soon as the sh- shakes go away. Is that really too much to ask? Why don't you just use Fixer? I've tried that, but it doesn't work on me. I need help. Well, I'm not sure how to resolve this. Hmm. <laughs> like you care, Smoothskin. Let's go talk to the doctor. Traveling with you has been some of the best medical experience I could ask for. You're a bullet magnet. I... We really haven't gotten shot at, like, much. Not yet, at least. Marshall, we've been over this. You can't stay here. I got it, Doc. Where else can I go? I... I don't know. You just need to leave. Please. Stop irradiating our building. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't. Okay, then. Hey. Was there something else you needed? So that ghoul you were talking to... His name is Marshall. He's unique amongst ghouls. A non-feral glowing one. He's also an alcoholic, which is why he came to us. That's, uh, okay, so treat him. We want to, but his condition poses a problem. As a glowing one, he's constantly emitting radiation. That's bad enough on its own, but it could be a death sentence to our patients. That's why I'm trying to get him to leave. So, there's really nowhere else he can go. I've talked to the old Mormon fort, but they can't take him for the same reasons. There is a standalone followers outpost he could go to, but I haven't been able to get in contact with them. Oh no. No, 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 no. Um... Ah, crap? (laughs) Sharing knowledge with an outsider organization. I knew Veronica couldn't be trusted. In the name of the Elder, I hereby sentence you to death. Your Elder is a dick and your brother was too. This sucks. They but killed it, all these poor followers, doctors. This is absurd. Mm, I don't think you will be able to do that. Mm, how long has he been here? About a week, at most. And the staff are already suffering from minor radiation sickness. Been here a week for symptoms of alcohol withdrawal and you haven't done anything. All right, I'll see what I can do. I appreciate the help. Just try not to hurt him. Well, if we don't, he's going to kill your immunocompromised patients. I'm pretty sure that you'll probably have to kill him eventually anyway. Hey! Come to stare, Smoothskin. You probably, you probably should leave. You can't do this to me. I don't have anywhere to go. Please. Maybe you raised your speech up a little bit, or you could you could intimidate him if you wanted to. I mean, hey, there's a nice mirage out in the desert. I d- don't see anything, Smoothskin. Okay, here, let me try this. 
I... I don't feel so g good. Oh! Delilah, you did another malpractice! Delilah, stop committing malpractice! God damn it, Delilah. You're a bad doctor! <laughs> good news, you don't have an addicted ghoul anymore. Good news and bad Was news. Was there something else you needed? Uh, the good news is that Marshall is gone. The bad news is that he's kind of gone. What? I asked you to help him, not to... to butcher him? He couldn't even defend himself. Hey, it was... How could you? Get out of my sight before I call the guards. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Hmm. My thoughts exactly! That was stupid! Eh, she was a modded character anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're threatening everyone, and you might as well walk out into the desert and die. I guess you're right, Smoothkin. I've been a burden for too long. Might as well just end it all. Tell Dr. Jude I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, I'm leaving. Bye, Doc. Bye, Doc. I'm gonna go kill myself. Was there something else you needed? Marshall uh, left the clinic. And he hasn't yet killed himself. I wish we could have done more to help him. But this was for the best. Thank you for your help. Hooray! I wish we could have helped him, but instead, we hired a mercenary to tell him to go kill himself. Man, I don't have a medicine skill of a hundred. When I was a kid, Dad told me the legend of Dead Eye Cedric. Cedric had lost both eyes, but he could hit a bottle cap in midair with his hunting rifle. I call bullshit on that one. This has been an eventful day. We've watched uh, we watched Delilah kill multiple people. <laughs> Jeez. At this rate, she's going to have a higher body count than all of us. I, you know, wouldn't surprise me. I, malpracticers? Malpracticants? Ooh! <laughs> No, curb chicken. <laughs> I've heard of floor chicken and wall chicken, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll go through my Fallout New Vegas filters. Let's see here. Brown, 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 beige, brown, brown, beige, brown, khaki. Ah, there's the green one. Oh, it's file under Fallout 3. That's a simple oh, misunderstanding. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now I see it. Now I see where the confusion came from. <laughs> 